Have you ever seen an NFT listed for below floor price and just when you're about to like buy it and grab it, somebody swooped in and sniped the sniper? Well, today we're going to talk about Trade Sniper and take you through how to actually use it. And like usual, I got Dirty Mo with me and we need to do a lot of videos to talk about these tools because if you're in NFT flipping, you need to have some kind of tools that's going to give you that edge over other people. Before we get into it, what are your thoughts around tools like this, Dan? I was going to ask you two questions because yeah. you use some words that some people might not be familiar with. Mm -hmm. One, what is a sniper? <laughs> so sniper, we're not going to get into the military terms, but sniping the term in, in the actual NFT world is going in and actually buying NFTs that are either listed low by accident or listed low because nobody has any idea of the value of them, right? Or the holder doesn't have any idea. And when I say listed low, that just means listed lower than the four value or what the value should be if it's a rare NFT. So you hear the term a lot in the NFT world of sniping when you go in and grab one of those before anybody else can. All right, second question. What's flipping? I've seen the movie Flipper with the dolphin. Is it similar? <laughs> so uh, all flipping is is uh, buying NFTs at a low price and selling them for higher. So right now, in my opinion, like let me know if you disagree. It's a flipper's market, right? Everybody that's trying to get in on the NFTs, no matter what you say about your selling <clears> how awesome they are, people trying to buy them to flip them to make more money to move on to the next thing. So that's what all that flipping means in the NFT world. And so you asked me, what was my opinion? Mate, I don't flip. I appreciate the art. I appreciate the utility. And I just stick with it. So. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> that dirty stash on your face is yeah, no, <laughs> way, no way you appreciate anything but flipping and making those tendies. Money is tendies. No, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, totally, I totally agree with you. If you're fortunate enough to get something that's going to make your life a little bit easier and, and make some capital, this is our job at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. This is what we talk about. This is what we do. Um, so if we have to sell something at a rate that it's worth, then why wouldn't we? Right. I mean, the market speaks for itself. But without much ado, guys, let's go ahead and switch over and let's have a look at Trait Sniper. So this layout is pretty dope and it tells you right now it's the fastest NFT ranking platform. The reason why this is important is that you want to know how they rank. So what normally happens with these NFT projects, it'll be 5,000. They all have different ranks from rares to commons to one of ones. And if you're going to be flipping and sniping, you know what those terms mean now, go back to the beginning. If you don't, you want to be able to get that data super fast, right? So it's always that fastest person that knows what the ranks are is going to be able to grab it and take advantage of a quick flip on those things. And what Trade Sniper actually does, if you can see on the screen, it actually has these projects ranked. So right now, Dan's hanging out in Mecha Apes here and it has them ranked all the way down and it shows the price in their last sale. This is super important because you never want to go in and buy something for more than it's worth, right? So if I look and I see the last sale is 0.79, that top one's not listed, which is surprising. A lot of people get those early ones and relist them straight away for a lot more money. Can we see anything on there that's actually listed right now? Uh, we've got one for three ETH, mm. uh, one for two ETH. So you would expect yeah. anything here to be, you know, above three ETH at least. Yeah. Um, so if that was to be listed for, actually, let's yeah, let's go across. This is our last. Oh no, sorry, there. they're, 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 they're are they listed right now? Oh, sorry. No, they're not listed right now. Which is interesting, right? Because that's something you normally don't mm. see. A lot of people buy them to actually jump in and flip. So if I see this, it makes me think either it just, that's 12 days ago. So I would feel like, what is it behind this project? It doesn't have people listing it. So I love this because this stokes my curiosity. This would make me want to jump into Discord and be like, okay, why are people holding onto these and not listing in them? Because that's not like the NFT space to do it. Or nobody cares about the project <laughs> that could be yeah, other things. What's, what's interesting is that there's mm. only 1.1 thousand users or buyers mm. um but 50 000 items mm. so that this is a huge collection and only 356 is listed for sale yeah, that's, that's insane that's super that's, that's very interesting right so things like well, let, let, go ahead go ahead let's go let's go back to another project that might actually have some listed so you can see what it looks like mm. and this is well together it's a random project we're just picking yep and here we go. So you, you can go. see that's listed yep. at 0.5. And you can actually click on that and it'll purchase it straight from OpenSea. Uh, so you don't have to go back into OpenSea as well, which is kind of handy if you find something you really quickly want to snap it up. Um, and it's going to help out with speed as well. Like, And the main thing about mm. Trade Sniper that you'll notice is if you have one of their premium accounts on here, you actually get the listings faster. So a lot of times with Trade Sniper, if you don't have a paid account, while they're actually going in and unveiling the drops, you have to wait. Most of the time is like, yep. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. But by that time, 
all the good deals have been sniped up with it. But I think Trade Sniper is super cool and I go to it all the time just to kind of see what the rank are and see what things are going for. So like Dan said, you can see on the first one shows the rank, the next one shows the actual price, and then you can look at the last sale. And all this is super important information. It also has the different traits as well. If you were to click into one of them, it'll show you the rarity of the certain traits of the item as well. Before we get out of here, Dan, did you have anything else you want to add about tools like Trade Sniper? Yeah, just I, I stress this, be really careful with how you use this because there's different ways to actually rank items as well um, because there's like average weighted, there's certain traits that might be weighted heavier, it depends on how the NFT or the people that re release the NFT. Um, this is a very generalized way and it's probably the most common way that people do it to create those rankings. Um, so I, I go in there with a bit of trust, but at the same time, I always want to verify in the Discord to make sure this is how they're ranking them as well. 100% because the market's never wrong, right? So the, the creators yep. may have said one thing, but the market's like, nah, we actually like laser eyes better even if it is like heaps of those guys if you want to find out a little bit more about nft flipping or trading strategies watch the video above until next time we'll catch you in the next video peace see ya